So check it out. It's kind of the end of another chapter here at Worth the Effort Woodworking. I've been slowly moving all my lumber, my drying blanks, over to the new shop. And later this afternoon, I'll begin disassembling all the racks and stuff like that. And I was kind of thinking while I was doing that, that in the last 20 years, I believe I've moved shops 15 times. Granted, some of them were just small shops in the corner of an apartment. But 20 years, 15 shops, and now moving on to my 16th. I've been doing this quite a long time, the moving aspect of it, not necessarily the fine woodworking. And this shop, you know what, we moved into here probably five years ago. It is by far the longest I've kept a shop in any one location. And when I moved in, you know, I built a very small apartment right there. It already had a bathroom installed there, and I had some personal storage in the corner. And it's roughly 850, 900 square feet. So I want to say the woodworking side of this shop was about maybe 450, 500 square feet. And the shop I'm going into, which I'm going to now be sharing with my dad, is only about 450 square feet. So we're going to be having to efficient size everything. Though, I am going to have a large backyard to do a lot of storage and stuff like that, which will really help out and allow us to do some more exciting stuff in the future. Now a shop move for a content creator offers a great opportunity for transition. Now obviously uh, moving in a new shop a lot of the content we'll be initially creating is just going to be shop furniture because that's what I'll be doing so might as well take that opportunity. And Worth the Effort will never change its emphasis on education. In fact uh, I want to start a very deep dive into basic wood turning in December for the simple reason, if I can afford to pick up a midi lathe, that's something I can do out in the in the parking area. And not in the, you don't have to have a full shop to do turning stuff. And I will do my yearly kind of in review, future goals, shop tour in the new place to show you the new place and tell you what we're, we plan on doing in 2021. But to do those kinds of transition elements, I'm going to have to bring on some new features to my videos. Frankly, I'm going to bring on some sponsors. I'm going to have people sponsoring specific videos. And as a good transition, here's one of the sponsors. Hey, you paying attention? The sponsors are actually me. I'm actually just going to be merchandising my own stuff. Stuff I make it here at the shop. Are you a professional wannabe woodworker? Do you also enjoy a nice, cold, frosty beverage in your shop? Then you need to get yourself a genuine, original, non-patentable, multi-function leather workshop coaster from Worth the Effort Woodworking. I'm okay. Does the idea of venturing all the way to the other side of your workbench to retrieve your sharpening stroke leave you mentally exhausted? Then you need a workshop coaster. Do you have a shop cat? Then you need a workshop coaster. Are you constantly stabilizing boards on your workbench? Bandsaw. Thickness planer said, or miter saw. Then you need a workshop coaster. Would your workshop benefit from a sternum pad, clamp pad, dog repeller, gouge hone, tracing jig, burnishing pad, burr remover, kid repellent, or spouse distractor? Or do you just need proof to all your woodworking buddies that you know what you are doing in the workshop? then you need to get your own Texas grown, Texas made, genuine, original, non-patentable, multi-function leather work stroke coaster from Worth the Effort Woodworking. Get your three pack of Worth the Effort Woodworking workshop coasters for only $19.99 and 9 tenths, shipping and handling included, while supplies last. Well, there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. You know, little coasters like this are just swag pieces. They're kind of universally appreciated something i can make fairly inexpensive in my shop by myself uh, at a reasonable price and it will really support making the content I, as i go forward uh, something i've kind of grasped this past year because while in years past you know 75 80 percent of my income came from working art markets 
2020 was an entirely different animal and I haven't worked an entire art market this year. I probably will not and I don't anticipate I will for the first beginning of 2021. And I'll spend a lot of my time building up really nicer inventory, maybe moving my whole, my whole merchandise up market a little bit and just focusing on the holiday season of 2021 and selling merchandise to y'all of things I've done in the past have been really successful. For example, well, uh, you know, my ever popular mallets, I, const I sell out pretty quickly because I make them out of Bodar. Um, when I was doing, uh, in the, when I was doing fundraising for the two schools I opened up, you know, I sold stuff like Crenol planes. Box makers love my grooving planes for making box bottoms and drawers and stuff like that. And even today, I typically do a production run of a few hundred of these uh, French squares. And FYI, I have about 20, 24 left uh, if you need a little stocking stuffer. And that kind of really helps out in between the paychecks uh, that you get from AdSense. It kind of bridges the gap. In this past year, a lot of y'all have noticed that at the bottom of my videos, I've kind of done this YouTube Teespring Alliance started offering vector artwork for t-shirts like this design right here and I just came up with a new one a few weeks ago uh, of a very common saying you see me use it's always about the grain in woodworking woodworking is just the anal analyst and execution of the interaction between edges and grain fibers so this is something I, I kind of like and I really do like doodling on the computer so you'll probably see a lot more of those popping up maybe once a month my original uh, drawings which are pixel based not vector art based they are still on my website uh, and they are processed through Printful and it's little things like that that have really helped out also because my dad and I do work art markets I'll probably showcase one of the art pieces every now and then my dad does a huge collection of wall art pieces uh, out of lo local Texas woods I have them on my website right now, the few that are available, that are left. So if, you know, you ha are seeking for a, a wood gift for somebody of something slightly ancillary to what you d do yourself or what you are learning to do, hey, you might consider original art pieces from Jack Graham or other members of the Worth the Effort team. But when I say sponsorship, that's what I'm talking about. I will interject just a 30 second little commercial for something that we merchandise because I've learned that hey as a content creator if you get if this video went viral and I got a million views in my first month that might be worth a few hundred dollars but if it's a normal video for me you know it gets four to eight thousand views or something like that and I sell three or four twenty seven dollars French squares I'm pretty much even so I can concentrate more on providing a good service than just best ways to get views. So keep your eyes out from the new shop. I have one last video that's going to be coming out from this, and that's a continuation of uh, my table saw, excuse me, continuation of the table build production techniques for the side hustlers working out of a small garage. I'm editing that, that up right now. Well, as always, remember that it is always worth the effort to learn, create, share with others. Y'all be safe and have fun. Also, won't y'all love it when there's no more road noise in my videos?